Hey, Frank Dupre here with another drive-by message. And I wanted to talk about something that is in the book of Revelation. You know, we're talking a lot about the end times, about the last days, about what's happening and, and how the church needs, needs to be prepared for the things that are going to come. But I want to tell you, if do you remember that there's a um, an angel in the book of Revelation and it actually opens up something and plagues come out on the earth. Well, this is going to be a, a stretch of an interpretation. So don't say that I'm quoting the Bible on this, but I think I have an idea about one of these plagues that has come to the earth in the last days. And ladies, this plague is really hitting you very hard. Um, have you noticed on TV that there are commercials aimed at women where they're talking about you know uh, wrinkles and lines and all these type of things and the the models are all in their mid 20s maybe 30 and you know wrinkles and lines was something that women did not think about until they were much older years ago but now it seems that 20 year olds are concerned about wrinkles and lines and they're trying to get rid of it so they're shooting Botox into their skin and you know there's people don't really know what is going to happen with this stuff after a few years go by but I can tell you one thing what it's doing is the commercials not just for the uh, these fixes for wrinkles and lines and things like that but the whole thing of the clothing and the styles and the designer names and all these things like that this has caused an infection inside of people's souls it's an infection and it's called greed that's the old name for it now it has a new name because you know when you operate with an old name people recognize what you are right away but if you change the name then they don't get it right away so they get infected and millions of Americans especially are infected with greed under the name of the American dream we call it the American dream now the American dream originally was the pursuit of life liberty and happiness and it did not consist of things it consisted with freedom in the soul it consisted in freedom in the mind freedom of expression freedom to speak your mind freedom to go where you want to go freedom to live in a country where you're not oppressed that was the original American dream but now it has been changed and now the American dream is all about getting more stuff and staying younger looking all the time now men are infected with this too believe me I know it fashion is something that has eaten men up for years this began in earnest in the 1920s in the 1920s out of the roaring 20s the, the decade of decadence in America where things really changed because you had radio you had uh, communication you had speed you had cars you had trains things were moving faster and as things move faster people wanted more they wanted more 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 stuff and so that's what the American dream became the American dream became owning a house owning a car owning this owning that having a vacation property getting uh, vacation times in two weeks and having this and that now I'm not saying that having these things is wrong but the problem is it has taken over the place of spiritual life so much so that people are at unrest on the inside Jesus said come unto me all you that are heavily laden and I will give you rest not for your bodies He's not talking about things he's not talking about work he's not talking about carrying loads of, of uh, on a work job he's not talking about construction he says come unto me all you that are heavily laden and I will give you rest for what for your soul you see our souls are infected with materialism our souls are infected with greed. Our souls are infected with, I need more, I want more, I gotta have it. And I'm telling you, it's destroying the church.
because instead of us getting rest for our souls through our spiritual relationship with Jesus, through our prayer time with him, through our reading the word, we are trying to get rest for our souls by accumulating stuff. It's so destructive. It's so destructive. Please, wake up. You've been infected. Ask the Lord how to get free of this disease. Because this disease is a killer. It goes on to your children and your children's children. It's genetic. It's generational. It'll destroy everybody. The church has become a place not of, as Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. It's a house of entertainment. The whole of the church has been changed into a place of entertainment and motivational speaking. Now we have Anthony Robbins-like people in the pulpit all over. Motivational, feel good, everything can be yours. Have your best life, have your best day. You can have it, you deserve it, have it your way. It's all a plot to destroy your soul. What good would it be for you to gain the whole world and suffer the loss of your soul. Think about it. Go to my website, franktopray.com. Take a look at some of the teaching and the videos and the things that are there, and I think it'll be a blessing to you. It's got the antidote for materialism. God bless you.